In this English pronunciation tutorial, I'm going to give you five simple exercises to help you warm your lips up so that you can get the most from your daily English pronunciation practice. These exercises are specifically designed to help you warm up your speech organs that you're going to be using in your pronunciation practice and I use them with my clients on a regular basis. Warming up before you do your practice is one of the best ways to get the most out of it. If you think about an athlete, they are fastidious in warming up and making sure that they're fully prepared for the practice that comes ahead. It's the same here with our English pronunciation practice. To get the most out of it, we want to be warmed up and ready to perform at our best. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five lip exercises. And in this video up here, you're going to get five tongue exercises to warm up your tongue. So all of your speech organs are warmed up and ready to go. Follow along with me, make the sounds, do the exercises with me. And that way, by the time that you've done them, you're going to be ready to practice and make the biggest improvements. Let's get started. The first one is between the two vowel sounds, E, U, and then the two short vowel sounds, I and U. So both very similar vowel sounds that are coming from the front and the back of my mouth. And again, that's really gonna help us warm the lips up. And we've got the mixture of long and short vowel sounds in there as well. So let's get started. Repeat after me. E, U, E. The next one is going to be the same principle going between the front and the back of the mouth. Um, this time we're doing it with two short vowel sounds, the sound a as in bat and o as in not. Let's go, follow along. A, o, 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 a, o. You really should now starting to be feeling that in the lips. The next exercise is going between three front vowel sounds, the sounds i, e, a. And what we're gonna do is start at the top, work our way down, and then work our way back up with the different vowel sounds. So follow along, it would go like this. I, e, a, e, 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 I. Next, we're going to do the same kind of exercise, starting at the top and going down to the bottom, then back up, but with vowel sounds at the back of our mouth. It would look like this. U, a, o, a, 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 u. Again, if that feels unnatural, that's absolutely fine. Just take the time to practice it and get it right. The next exercise is just to go through and actually use the lips to make some important consonant sounds in English. Repeat after me. 
ba 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 ma 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 wa 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 ba 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 ma 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 wa 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 ba 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 ma 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 wa 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 Okay, the first three sounds there are called bilabial sounds, where they are consonants that come from the lips actually touching each other. And then the w sound is a semi-vowel. It starts in the oo long vowel position and ends in the uh position. So those are the exercises to warm up the lips. In the next video, you're going to learn five exercises that are essential to warm up your tongue before your English pronunciation practice. So watch this video next. Thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Subscribe for more exercises that come out like this on a weekly basis to help you speak English with confidence and credibility. And please also share this video with anyone you know that could benefit from learning these exercises. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.